So I have to like ghetto do this since I not I don't have my computer with me or anything like that. But yeah, uh, this is in regards to the SRM issues when changing discs and final, like with Final Fantasy and whatnot when it comes to RetroArch on your Android system. Uh, since I can't show you my screen or whatever due to this, you know, phones being stupid. Um, basically, the easiest way to get around this issue is to take your save state, like do a save state right before the changing of the disk where you hit the save, then take that save state, rename it to the disk 2 or disk 3 or disk 4, whatever you want to name it to, for whatever disk you're on at the time. And then once you use that save state, like load it up when you change the disk, and then take that and save the files. And what it'll do is it'll create an SRM file right there for that disk, right where you're left off at. So you'll be able to continue where you left off at without having to rename an SRM and hope to God it works and stuff like that. Because I've been having issues with that forever with Final Fantasy VIII. So this ends up basically instantly creating an SRM and you'll be able to start the whatever disk you're at. So this makes it so much easier to do versus, you know, going around and trying to rename your SRM fire, hoping it reads it, then you gotta close it RetroArch and do all this bullshit again. So that should basically help you guys out. I just figured I'd let you guys know. Yeah, but this is the RetroArch for the Android thing, because when it comes to the PC one, if there is one, it pretty, pretty much shouldn't be an issue. But yeah, uh, take care. And hopefully this fix ends up working for you as well. But yeah, once again, it's just taking the state, the save state, transferring it over to this the, the ROM folder, the second disk one, renaming the save state to the disk two or disk three, whatever disk you're on, and then just load uh, saving the file uh, to, to as a fail safe. Just make sure that uh, you don't save it on just one block. Save it on at least four. Cause I did it four on four blocks for each one that I have it. I tried it with, and it worked just fine. So just in case to be safe, go ahead and do that. And then you should be able to play your, you know, other disc and not have to worry about anything. Apparently, there was an option where you can change disc in the middle of the game, but I've never found that option in my version of RetroArch. So they probably did away with that. All right. So yeah, take care. Have fun. Hopefully, this fix ends up working for you. Peace.